Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to create and host a multiplayer lobby in Citra. Now this won't allow you to connect online as if you were like playing on a regular 3DS, but it will allow you to play games that normally you would play locally on a real 3DS with other people online. So um, the first thing we're going to get is Citra, obviously. So uh, go ahead and download Citra. I already have Citra installed, so um, once you've installed it, just go ahead and open it. And you want to open this file right here, the citra-qt.exe. So go ahead and open that. And once you have that open, you want to go to File and Open Citra Folder. And that'll open the Citra folder up, and I have that already up here. Um, and then you want to go to config, and you want to open this qt-config um, settings folder, or file I should say. So open that, and uh, you can open it like Notepad or any text editor. And you can hit Control F to do find, and type in web. So, um, I don't actually know if you need to do this, but I assume you do. Either way, uh, so for this option right here, the web API dash URL default, you want this to be set to false. So it'll probably say true if you um, just installed Citra. So just change that true to say false. And then you want this URL to be what I have typed in here. I will put this in the description so you don't have to type this word for word. Um, but again, I don't know if you need to set this to do this, but I assume you do, so just go ahead and do that. Um, so once you've done that, you want, to, you want to save this file. So you can close out of that. You might need to restart Citra as well. Just restart it just to be safe. Um, and once you've done that, uh, now you want to move on and install the next uh, application that you need, and it's called Zero Tier. So, Zero Tier uh, will essentially allow you to connect, uh, or at least your friends or your whoever you're playing with, will they will be able to connect to you, so they can connect um, to your host. They can to connect to your lobby. What I mean to say. So, you and your friend will need to download this as well. So, once you've downloaded Zero Tier, um, the next thing you should do is um, this site here, my.zerotier.com. You will need to make an account um, for Zero Tier. But once you've created an account, you can actually create a network. And this is what your, your friend and you will connect to to actually play games together. So um, I already have a new network right here, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. And um, you'll see that no devices have joined this network. So whenever you create a network, it'll give you a network ID. So in order to join this network ID, you want to open zero tier. Um, I already have zero to open, but once you open it, you want to go down here to your hidden icons and you want to right click on the zero tier icon and hit join new network. And then you want to enter in that um, network ID. I think if you just click on it, it'll let you, uh, it'll copy it automatically for you. And then you want to paste that in so you can join the network. And now you should you should be um, in that network. Let me disconnect from this old one that I don't I'm not using right now. So refresh the page, and now you'll see that you've uh, joined this network. But you can't actually do anything with that yet. You have to um, auth authorize it first. So in order to do that, you want to hit this uh, wrench button, this edit button, or you can give it a name if you want. Um, we're going to hit Authorize, and we're going to Save. So now this will be Authorized, and um, your friend will do this as well. So once your friend has installed Zero Tier, 
um, they're going to want to connect to the same network ID that you connected to. So they're going to go through the same steps, open up zero tier, connect through this network ID after they right click, hit the uh, join network. And you will see their, um, their connection as well. And you want to authorize that too. So there will be two um, different uh, addresses to authorize, basically. And once you've done that, next step is to actually connect to uh, the address in Citra. So now you want to open Citra again, and you want to go to multiplayer and create room. So um, here's where you actually like, you know, create the lobby. So you can name the lobby whatever you want. Um, you do need a preferred game. And the only way that Citra can set a preferred game is if you set the, the game directory. So if you don't have set the game directory, you can add a game directory here. And that's where you're going to put all of your games, um, basically. So once you've done that, go to Create Room. And you can give the, the room a name, you can give yourself a username, and then um, you want to have a port. It doesn't, I don't think it really matters what the port is, but I just put in a random number. Uh, you can have a password if you want. And then you want to, you'll want to hit unlisted. Since I, I haven't been able to get public to work, I'm not really sure how to make a public game, unfortunately, but unlisted will work if you're just doing like a, a peer-to-peer -peer session. So then you want to host the room. Now, once you've hosted the room, your friend will have to hit direct connect to room. And they'll want to hit in, put in the same port that you applied, which I think mine was uh, 24888. Uh, the server address, which the server address will be um, this IP right here. If you don't see this IP, make sure you refresh the page first. Um, but once you've done that, you can grab this uh, this this um, address, send this address to your friend, and they can join by putting in that address that you had. Um, putting in the exact same port that you had, they can give themselves a nickname, password, and then they can just connect, and they should be able to um, connect to your room then. And that's it. Um, I think this works with basically any game that you can play locally uh, with a 3DS, but I've only tested this with Pokemon X and Y. Um, however, feel free to test it with like any other game you want to play. Um, if you have any issues, feel free to leave a comment. I, I'm not exactly the most like uh, tech tech savvy person, but like I'll do my best to help you. Or perhaps somebody else might have the same issue that you do, and you can help them out. Um, but yeah, feel free to leave any uh, questions that you have in the comments. If you have easier ways to do what I did, also feel free to leave that in the comment. Like anything that might be helpful to other other users that want to do this as well. Just just feel free to leave it in the comments because uh, I like barely know what what the heck I'm doing. But um, I hope this was this video was helpful to to anybody who wanted to do this because I wanted to do this with a friend because um, it, it took me a little while to figure out what the heck to do. But either way, I. I do hope this was helpful and thank you for sticking around and watching this tutorial.